Greetings from ACM. Here we are going to demonstrate a project which we have been working on since the last semester entitled Graph Plotter. To introduce ourselves, we are a team of three, Gautam, Utkarsh and our mentor Kapil. The purpose of this project is to develop a full-scale graph plotter in the lines of Wolfram Alpha and MATLAB. We decided to build the application using C++ and OpenGL. A C++ provides high performance and OpenGL provides the necessary graphics framework. I'm Utkarsh and I'll walk you through the code. So let's have a look at function input. This is where uh, the user inputs the expression here and uh, the start and stop limits here. So next we have uh, this function called precompute that's here. So this is where all the fx values get calculated. Next, let's have a look at uh, handle key press. So this is where uh, this is the function that handles all the ASCII keyboard inputs. Um, so next we have draw arrow axes. That's somewhere here. Okay, and this is where uh, this is the function that draws the axes on our graph plotter. Next, uh, we have the draw scene function. So this is like the main function that draws the scene. Uh, this consists of draw our axes. So that's the function we just saw here. And next we have this piece of code here. This is used to uh, show and display the mode that's either select, select mode or zoom mode. Next, uh, this part of the code is, is the one that actually plots the complete graph. Uh, as you can see, we're using line strips here to plot the graph. Uh, next, we have the main function. So main function is like the wrapper. Uh, here, here's where we initialize glut and we get the screen and uh, screen sizes here. It also includes a lot of callback functions here, like for uh, like glut keyboard func, um, glut mouse wheel func, and all. Hi, this is Kapil here. Uh, I'll just give you a overview of how the code is executed. Uh, let's run the code on three separate examples. The first being a simple polynomial function. Um, let's take x cube minus 5 times x square plus 1. This looks like a good example. Let's take the range as minus 3 to 6. And here we see the plot. So in select mode, we have a green line followed by a red pointer, which runs along with the mouse cursor, which indicates the x and ffx value on the top left corner. Uh, this is the plot, and uh, we're, we're in the select mode. Now by pressing Z, we move on to the zoom mode, where by either scrolling, uh, zooming in and out by the scroll wheel or using arrow keys or using the plus and minus uh, keyboard buttons we can uh, move in and out and translate left and right to the desired range then we can move back onto the select mode and have a look at the rest of the values so uh, the second example that we'll be looking at is a trigonometric function. Uh, we'll take a composition of a polynomial in a trigonometric, a simple one here. We'll take sine of x square. Sorry about that. And uh, we'll take a range of again minus 3 to 3. And we see the plot is like so. It's periodic. And it's an odd function. So we can again zoom in and out, move left and right. We can zoom out and of course since it's a square function inside a sinusoid function, the output get messy. Anyways, moving back, uh, we will then look at a little tougher uh, equation to plot. 
this is a polynomial function composed inside of a trigonometric function inside a polynomial function so this is the example that i'm using here is so right and uh, we take the output as 0 to 2.7 that would be a good or 3 and you see here the output so if if there is any doubt that this is just a random plot and this may not be correct we did actually verify all of these plots with wolfram alpha as so if i bring it here you can see that the first polynomial expression does comply with our results so does sine of x square and so does this plot now if you zoom out we do see it does comply with our result this is the work we've done so far we hope to polish our application more add units and uh, thanks for watching